Hello shipmates, welcome to another video brought to you by the 5 Minute Mariner. In today's video we're going to look at study tips and tricks to help you pass your orals. Begin proper preparation at least 4 weeks before your oral exam. This is based on the assumption that you do not have any other commitments and you're able to commit at least 8 hours per day to preparation. If you have other responsibilities then you will need to begin preparations earlier. Start by downloading Marine Guidance Notice 69. For a summary, see our other video on the contents of MGN 69. To help get you started, we have also included a set of basic orals questions in the description of this video. Attempt the questions as best you can without help. Take note of your answers and note which ones you are confident with and which ones you are less confident with. This is an important first step because it establishes which areas you are strong with and which areas you are weak in. You can summarise the different topics as follows. Watchkeeping, Auxiliary Systems, Electrical Systems, Maintenance Procedures, Pollution Prevention, Naval Architecture, Firefighting, Life-Saving Appliances, and Legislative Requirements. After attempting the questions, rank the topics in order from best to worst. Best being, I am confident with this and I know I can learn it quickly, or worst, I don't know this that much and I will need to practice it. Now write out your timetable of study. We recommend getting a paper-based diary. Mark your oral exam date clearly in big red writing. Then starting with your least confident subjects, allocate time to study them. But do not let your best subjects become rusty, so make sure to include at least a couple of hours per week going over your preferred subjects. Here is an example timetable you might end up creating to help you study. Make it clear to everyone around you that for the next month you will be unavailable. This will be a challenge if you have other life commitments, but as far as possible you should try to devote as much time to preparing for the exam. Just remember, once it's done, it's done. You need to be a good all-rounder. It's easy to fall into the trap of spending all your time working on what you're good at and not enough time on your weaknesses. You might be great with your mechanical knowledge of two and four stroke engines, but not so good with your legislative knowledge. Get into a group. Try to find other people that will be going for their orals around the same time as you. Get together in small groups of three to four people. Larger groups can become distracting and lead to no work being done. Group work is invaluable as it will help keep you motivated, you can learn from each other, and one of the only ways to get better at interviews is to do interviews, which group work lets you practice. Short mini orals. With one or two other partners, take turns asking questions in 10 to 20 minute interviews. Get lists of past oral questions and run through asking each other these questions. You must get into the habit of being able to speak clearly, confidently, and provide spoken answers. The person asking the questions should note down your responses and at the end, go over and review your answers with you. This way you can both learn and identify areas that need to be improved. These mini oral exercises are a great way to break up the study day. We would recommend doing at least one or two per day. A variety of techniques to help. Here's a list of techniques we recommend. Pick one or two that work for you and stick with them. Recording procedures. A good way to help you practice remembering procedures is to record yourself saying the ideal version and then to listen back to it later as you walk around. Pictures and posters. Draw out your system diagrams, timing diagrams, etc and put these on the walls, doors, fridges, and even in the bathroom. Every time you walk around, study the poster, shut your eyes, and try to imagine drawing it. Chunking the knowledge. Humans tend to remember things best when they're grouped into sets of three. Break down huge procedures into sets of three steps or less, and focus on recalling those first before going on to the whole list. Picture association. Picture association is a great way of helping you remember things by associating pictures with each of the items on the list. It helps you visualise it and remember it. Don't overdo it. There is only so much you can study in a day and only so much information you can take in. Hopefully by this point you have learned to recognise what your limits are. Here are some effective methods that may help you with studying and preventing burnout. Take a break at least once an hour and stop properly for lunch. Avoid late night cram sessions. While these might work for one-off exams where you have a small amount of information to remember for the exam the next day, it won't work for the orals. Remember, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Avoid taking in too much caffeine such as energy drinks, excessive tea and coffee, drink plenty of water and remember to go for short walks. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video on study tips and tricks for an oral exam. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more content.